Hello and welcome to Mzanza Reality. Uh, we are back and uh, I think we have uh, taken enough break. We have we are rested. Uh, Emily, uh, let us greet uh, people, the audience and uh, guys. Tell us if uh, there's something wrong uh, in my trust of what I've been trying to do to make sure that uh, we don't have all these um, hiccups of sound uh, that was caused last time. Mm. Uh, and I trust that uh, this time everything is well taken care of. Uh, if if it's not, it won't be a, a problem because you just need to let us know on the comments. There, we, Comments are open and uh, we are going to have um, a lot of conversation and we uh, we invite people we will open at some point our lines uh, to actually have a call uh, if you want to call. Mm -hmm. uh, it is through WhatsApp. Hello, Cindy. Uh, you're the first to have comment Cindy. today. And uh, we just saw your comment. And we, we've been talking to you. I think Cindy is one of those who doesn't want to miss any any any, any live, live stream streams. that we have and we appreciate you and we hope that everything is going well on your side emily uh, greet and let us roll hi everyone welcome back to the mzanzi reality youtube channel thank you so much for joining us yet again for another unpacking of this senzo meiwa case that is currently in court and on trial thank you so much for joining us and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber you know how we do welcome back and thank you for joining us again yet one more time and like the video please if you really like this type of content let us know by liking the video and sharing your opinions and comments on the chat currently now in this live stream and later on in the comment section down below so yes mr anonymous we are on that uh, trial uh, of senzo meiwa and what has been happening in court over the past two days yes yes mm, mm, i'd like to first get started with uh, Caught dismissing the application for trial within trial that mm. Advocate Defoe mm. was asking for yesterday. Mm. I think uh, on, on that, Emily, while, while you're saying it, it was dismissed, mm. it is, it is, we, we need to get content a bit on, on, on why probably this was dismissed. Mm. It's, why? Uh, it was supposed but before to... you, you make it, uh, can I give a brief uh, description of what actually was it about? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, um, I'm going to read it, uh, an article from Sowetan Live. The application brought by advocate Melissa Defo to have a trial within a trial in the murder case of, of Orlando Pirates goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa has been dismissed. Defo made an application before the Pretoria High Court asking that the cross-examination being conducted by advocate Zandi Lemshololo for accused number five, Sfiso Wuhlenkani Ntuli, should be halted and allow for a trial within a trial. Therefore, argued that the accused before the court were wrongfully arrested and should not uh, be the ones sitting in the dock for Meiwa's murder. He is representing four of the five men in the matter. Therefore, further submitted that the two of his clients uh, Muzikau Kuhlelwa, Sbia and Bongani Sandisontanzi were assaulted and forced into making confessions, which was a fundamental violation of their constitutional rights. Mm. But Judge Chipiwa Maumela said Defo had failed to provide the documentation on time and that his application could only be entertained at a later stage when evidence related to the issues he was raising came before the court. Mm. The court does not find the basis to make such an order against Advocate Mshololo. What Sergeant Tabumusia, the state witness, is about to testify has nothing to do with those confessions, Maumela said. Mm. Uh, I think uh, I, I, you guys will correct me. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to file a motion and mm -hmm. uh, there was supposed to be an affidavit of those people actually stating uh, what happened and why will this be important because obviously by the virtue of this being dismissed, Mm -hmm. It it might be used in the near future. 
and and because it has been dismissed now it, it, it well it was never also and in his argument uh, your lordship mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> someone is practicing to be a lawyer <laughs> he submitted that it was never submitted uh, as such that uh, they has they are confessions yeah which is i think one of the things that the state is sitting on uh, when it's time for the states to deliberate deliberate on this case mm -hmm. then such things will come out but Therefore, in, 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 in his mind, uh, sort of anticipating of what might come, and, mm. and, and obviously these people, they talk, guys, they might look like they are rude to each other in that court, but they do have conversation. And what I've realized is that those conversations, as a lawyer, as much as you guys are maybe friends or whatsoever that you might be, mm -hmm. you should not take them into heart when you go and, and present them, because one of those comments that you make outside the court you might use them and only to find that they are disputed by the very same person that is actually uh, uh, against you yes. so we saw that uh, happening with Tifo. Uh, some of the things were changed a bit mm. but that is not necessarily mean meaning that they are in now fighting obviously the main aim is to win uh, at all cost Mm, Do you understand? Mm. As much as uh, the law must prevail, also it counts under your belt that you have lost this case. So such, then you'll make sure that everything that might make you lose this case, which in this case uh, uh, NPA might be, uh, if they if they accept such mm. as as therefore wanted, yeah. they might be in position of losing this case because it might be dismissed. It might be how they got to this trial to begin with. Here are some of the descriptions that uh, Tifo had. He said, They, Sibia and Danzi, were moved around as a piecemeal for the police who assaulted them with batons and even suffocated the mother with tubes in almost the times. Mm. You know, those times before 1994, mm. he was reminding the court that that's actually those tactics of interrogation that we're using, that were used back in the day in people mm. of color. Mm. Now, according to Tifo, the men were forced to confess to Meiwa's murder, even though they were in Mashabatini and Nongoma in KwaZulu Natal at the time of the crime. He alleged that in Sibia's case, things were much worse as he was forced to point out places he did not know of and even implicate the other accused. Therefore, also questioned the issue of the two case dockets by the police with different theories and suspects. It's giving his decision in giving his decision, Judge Maumela highlighted how Mshololo rose up several times in court and chambers, pleading for the protection to finish her cross-examination of Musia. And as we all know, he ruled that he was going to dismiss what Defo was raising. And again, I, I think on that part of, of um, Shololo, mm -hmm. uh, not in support of what uh, Defo, Defo was, was doing. doing. Because Tifo was looking to actually do away with this case. Mm. Uh, if, if it was accepted and if it was proven that indeed uh, uh, such evidence was, was uh, through these people being uh, harassed, as I would say, mm -hmm. then it the, the, the whole case then would be uh, dismissed. It is important though to also note on, my, on, 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 your, on your head there that I think on the on Tifo's side, yeah, Tifo is playing for me for two teams. Okay, because he needs to get these people out of this case, mm -hmm. those people who are suspects. Mm -hmm. But yet, I feel like he still needs to proceed with the case of Senzo Meiwa uh, on its entirety because there there are things that uh, I I feel like he's kind of conflicted in a sense. Mm. Because he wants to see someone get get arrested, mm. but not the people that are actually being uh, accused accused as mm. currently. Mm. I think that's that's what is important to look at, because he's not trying to uh, unleash everything, uh, and if possible, we we they could just summarize this case as as quick as as they can, mm -hmm. so that then we can get on the issue of the people that were in the house being Who called to stand. Who actually did it. Yeah. yeah.
that is that is one thing that you also have to think of why is they for trying to really fight and, and cut this case as as as, as quick as possible mm. well today <laughs> <laughs> Musia moved from calling himself a criminal, a, a forensic expert to a criminal expert today. Yeah, in, 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 in full, it's criminalistic expert in forensic. Yes. That is, uh, that is the weight. The, he and has a new, a new profession today. Mm, that is true. <laughs> that is true. That for me was a kiki. That was funny. No, which begs the question now as to all these things that he has testified for, which are falling under forensic. Mm. Now, how do we take them into account when you are taking a decision as a judge? Like what's Those are the things on? that we also have to look at because now this man has been the center stage of this case as since the beginning and and he plays a very very important role as supposedly is one of is one person who actually was in charge of the scene mm. and what they've been trying to prove all along is that this man was never in charge of the scene. Yes, yes. This man, and, and, and you'll see that when they bring the profession. I think you still yeah. want to go there. So uh, after the ruling, Sholola began questioning Musia about his qualifications in the field of forensic investigation. Musia told the court that he joined the police in January of 2006. Mm. He said by the time Meiwa was killed on October 26, 2014, he already had eight years of work experience. Now, work experience is what? Is a forensic uh, uh, expert or work experience as a police we're going to take it as work experience as a police officer right yeah definitely because if you if you if you if you listen to when he got all the qualifications that are required for you to actually be taken as as a forensic as a forensic expert mm -hmm. as he was portraying himself mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. it was after it was after 2014 october mm. Mm. So, Musia has testified that he arrived on the scene about 20 minutes after midnight. He collected some of the evidence and then called the crime scene management team from the province. He then left the scene and returned the same day. Mm. So, Musia has testified that he arrived on the scene about 20... Okay, I've read this. The defense has been poking holes in how Musia handled... Uh, the evidence when he arrived on the scene. They have argued that some of the evidence Musia has testified that he did not capture on arrival, such on his arrival, his first arrival, such as the bullet casing found in the kitchen was actually planted. So they were insinuating that that bullet cartridge was uh, 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 planted. This is Mshololo who was leading Musia to actually admit this because on his first visit to the scene he did not take or collect any evidence mm. he found that bullet cartridge mm. on the second visit mm. to the scene mm. 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 okay mm. and that is a problem because all of these suspects that are currently on trial are on trial because the piece of evidence that is linking them who that crime is a bullet is this bullet yes yes and other than that it's what right now it's still i would i would say it's still in someone's uh, hand mm. hidden in a sense of uh, them admitting that uh, maybe they might have been there on on that scene mm. so that is the only thing that i think the states rely on no matter how far you go with this case, you will always look at that issue of the bullet. Mm. And why why they need to make sure that they first discredit the part of evidence collection and why they are dwelling on it this much. Mm -hmm. It is to make sure that everyone, which is now, I think, kind of getting clear, that everyone who, who who's watching this case the person who was who was supposedly in charge of the scene yeah does not have the expertise to actually do that mm. Mm. because out of all this evidence that were supposed to be collected the bullet was supposed to be collected he didn't find the bullet mm -mm, uh, the first on the day. First so second day now that is casting a, a lot of doubts in sense of what if that bullet was never there at the time 
Yes. What if that bullet was never Created there at the time? You needed doubt. to go out and sleep and come back. Because it's not like that house was secured fully mm. for the whole time when mm. you were sleeping. Mm. There were people that were left in the house. Uh, it might have been that maybe the meeting continued, this supposedly meeting that took place that was uh, talked about by Defo. Mm. It might have been that the, the meeting continued then. Let us try to solidify our case. Let us have something. Mm. And at that time, it is important to also note that at the time, the person who was supposedly the owner of that gun was kind of arrested for that gun. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go to the chat uh, a bit. Cindy uh, Langamanda saying, please smash the like button on your way in. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you. In fact, I need to pin this message. It's very important. Okay. And Cindy says, Sen Kona. Hi, Cindy again. Hello. 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 Muleni. Now, where is the tea? Where is the tea? Skulila Zomo. Sen Kona. I thank God in Tola Live today. Hello, sis <laughs> Emily. No, Mr. Anonymous. Hello, Hi. Hi. And Siabongam Gugu Don Musia should be charged, finish and clear. Now we are getting to that point where we feel like Musia is also. Uh, that is, that will only happen if, and that is a big if, mm -hmm. if there's, there's a proof beyond reasonable doubt that he was a, a, what accomplice for cover up. Mm. Now that is when Msia can be really can be charged, charged. Yeah. charged. But uh, at this point in time, I think the main important focus was, is to get those people out, those who can go out. Yes. They need to go. I think it's about two people that are there that uh, if, if this case was dismissed, they could be free. Yes. Yeah. So those people, they need to go out and the rest should continue with what they were doing. But other than this, Z Bonambi. Hello, Emily and Mr. Anonymous. We love your work, guys. Thank you. I prefer to listen to you guys than watching it because, wow. Thank you. Thank you. That is actually good because I was starting to feel like, you know what? <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> so thank you. We'll keep, we'll keep updating you like this. Sunday Rakoto. Hi, peeps. Zweli Shachai. Thanks, guys. Zania Mkosa. I stopped watching the case. Now, yo, my heart is not strong strong enough shame so i'll watch it via your review guys i'm not i'm not uh hopeful on our justice system yeah today was difficult can we briefly talk about how it was interrupted today was difficult to watch that that the the court proceedings for me Question yeah, it idea. was. It was. There was. There was a point where I think those who are relying on uh, data that is not, uh, uh, you buy a data about, and then next thing, you wait for some someone to come back at twelve. It's not back at twelve. It was. It was a chaos. And and this is this is adding to 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 time that it's mm. gonna take for this case to actually be exhausted. At some point, there was no audio. We are watching people talk and there's no audio. And then the many breaks that were taken today, there were just too and many It's alleged breaks. that the judge was, was kind of sick. Was also not feeling well. Mm. It's it, getting it is, difficult. It is getting... I, I would... I would my, my thinking is that the, the nature of this case, it's big. Isn't it supposed to have about two or three people presiding over this uh mm, you this bring case. an interesting point because obviously now we have one point of view mm. and 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 uh, always the, the the judge is always canvassed but in this case for the interest of the public not the interest just of law as as because I, we, one would say law and public is mm, one thing. Mm. but we need different ideas and views like the issue of therefore yeah it was easy for 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 one to say therefore is, is isolated because mshololo is just uh, she itching. just wants to She's cross just examine itching, uh, to cross examine mm. and obviously that is working in the favor of npa so the rest mm. Mm. but we are talking about the rights of people here mm. people are arrested people need to be treated fairly in according to our constitutional uh, laws. 
th- those are the things that we need to look at. Most definitely. And I feel like they just dismiss. Everything dismiss. <laughs> There's no, you know, let me sleep on it. Let me go and ask other judges. Mm, okay? mm, mm, mm. <laughs> There's none of that yet. Dismiss. <laughs> Uh, they're dismissing everything. Yeah, Sunday, Rakoto, Io, Emily, and worst of all, he acquired those qualifications in 2019, which is the years after the incident took place. Jesus, yes. I. It, 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 it surprises me. Not only that, the matter of being exempted, I don't know if people can actually engage us on that. Yeah. Because you, the, whatever that he acquired required a diploma. Yes. And he was exempted for that uh, diploma and then went to BTEC. That is strange. I don't know, guys. Let us know. Maybe this is normal where you just have your certificates and you do a BTEC. Don't you have to do a diploma first? I, I've, I've, I, I think that will need to, to, to be researched. And also, at this point in time, it would be good for university itself to give a statement on that mm. because it, it is clouding our our thinking now about how you unisa deals with things because unisa's name is brought into it's this brought say that i acquired it. my my qualifications oh, through unisa and i was oh. exempted for this by is there UNISA. such do you admit students to do a b-tech without doing a diploma is it is this a thing <laughs> well continue with the case Okay, so you want me to continue with the case yeah, now? Yeah. Okay, let me go to my notes here. Okay, the scene where Senzo Meiwa was uh, shot was cleaned up before police arrived and cordoned it off. Mm. This shooting revelation came out on Monday in the North Gauteng High Court, Pretoria, in the trial of the five men accused of them. Of the of the ending of Meiwa, it came through via witness statements that were read out and beamed on a computer screen for all to see. Advocate Zandilem Shololo, representing the accused number five, read out the witness statements and told state witness Sergeant Tabu Musia, who was the first forensic forensic investigator to arrive at the crime scene, that the area where Meiwa was. Uh, and it was actually tampered with and cleaned up before he arrived. This is where it confuses me. When, 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 when we say it was tampered with, mm. after admitting that you couldn't find sensor on the scene, yeah, isn't that, uh, according to law, then it should be looked at because this is a crime scene. Mm. It should be looked at already as a scene that is tempered contamination of evidence you have tempered with evidence so beyond that there was no blood on the scene yes where senzo really was shot yes there was no blood uh, there was blood on the wall though mm-hmm. of the same house where mm-hmm. uh, which is kitchen i think mm-hmm. it's a kitchen so that is someone maybe moving i don't know it, it, it confuses the whole thing and yet this is where you really find the bullet that is nailing the people that are, are, are really uh, uh, being uh, charged right now right now Michelle Lareda statement titled Statement 117 to argue her case that empty beer bottles were removed from the scene before police arrived so that police could not see that the people in the house were drinking. And I think mm. this was also brought up in the documentary. Mm. Mshalala would not identify the three authors of the statement she represented in court. One of the statements read, When I arrived at the Kumalo house, the doors were closed. I do not know who opened the doors. Myself, Megi Piri, Julia Musia, and Gugu went into the house. Mm-hmm. The reason I went into the house is because I wanted to see what happened in the house. While we were in the house, I saw water on the floor in the passage near the toilet. I was amazed to see water on the floor when I was told someone was shot in the house. Mm. Maggie Piri started to pick up empties. Those are bottles from the floor. I asked her why she was tidying up before police could arrive. Maggie responded that she does not want uh, uh, she does not want police to see that the police who 
that the people who were in the house were drinking. It, you, you see, maybe this is a lesson. You know, sometimes you can be lending a, a hand to, trying to help, sees. Uh, only to find that there's a bigger picture to towards what you are doing, and then you become that person now, a center person of that. Because I, I'm not sure if Maggie was part of the cleanup in terms of 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 the water that was the, the water that was on the floor. But mm. Now we have this idea of Maggie Piri as a person who was in charge of the cleanup. When she if she could have been and instructed, that is, that is what allegedly, everything is alleging to. Yes, it looks like she just took charge of the whole situation. Someone in that house, an incident happened, and I go there and I clean uh, unprovoked. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mshalala told Musia that when he arrived at the crime scene, it had already been cleaned up and condoned off by police. Mm. So, do you see that the statement to the statement? To this statement, so do you see that according to the statement, you arrived when the crime scene had already been cleaned? Mm. That is, uh, Musia asking, um, Sholola asking Musia. Musia responded by saying, "I understand." Now this is where the, you see why Musia is 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 becoming, a, I think, a problem of his own because he was saying. He doesn't think that the the, the scene was uh, continuing. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, there, there are things that are being pointed out that are pointing towards the direction of the scene being cleaned. cleaned. Now, that now combined with your experience, mm -hmm. it, it proves that 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 area or that that case or whatever evidence that was needed there to be mm -hmm, collected mm -hmm. was beyond you now mm -hmm. the 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 question is why were you called you're gonna say i was on standby and i was on duty but what are the measures that are put there to to make sure that if a case of this nature happens mm. you have the expertise that you need to collect evidence because now because now he's the center of of all this yes and 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 you can blame him uh, and maybe not blame him but it's one of those where you 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 are sent by your people to say emily go there mm. and, and and you are going to take the blame of everything yes that yes if it goes bad yes yes now he's alone no one is willing to say uh, uh, I even, stopped him. Even Bragadian, even Bragadian Lov, uh, wherever Bragadian Lov is, or is it heaven? I don't know. But but all I'm trying to say is that Bragadian Lov was supposed to deport, uh, depose uh, what an affidavit to say that at some point I did take charge of this scene. Yes. And I did help uh, MC uh, one, two, three. Why is that not part of? Of this whole evidence. Where is it? Where? Mshololo read out other statements referred to as 118 and 1A119. It says in the statement, I further heard my mother saying, Mapiri, mm -hmm. Megi, why are you tidying up before police could arrive at the scene? I did not see what she was doing or removing. When my mother was asking why Mapiri was tidying up, she responded she does not want people to know that they were drinking, read the statement. Myself, Megi Piri, Heping Gubeni, and Gugun Gubeni decided to enter. The door was wide open. Megi Piri led us inside the house. I entered and stood at the passage. I saw a lot of empty beer bottles on the floor. I did not see anything else besides the empty beer bottles bottles. Megi Piri suggested that we should clean the house before police arrived. We ignored her and she continued to pack the empty bottles and we left Piri behind busy packing the empties. Read the statement. What is being said by this witness is that the scene was inside the house, inside the house was cleaned. In other words, the crime scene was tampered with before you arrived and in that process of cleaning, we do not, we do not know what was removed or planted. Now, that is Mushololo. Now you see what is happening here. People that need to be questioned and need to be actually uh, charged, part of them are those people who are putting the statement. Mm. Because now you are implicating yourself by saying that you, you actually participated in cleaning the scene. 
if this case goes left, mm-hmm. let's say these people um, are really released yeah. after this thing, obviously this this case is gonna continue, and the starting point should be these people. Yeah, definitely. That is the starting point because you you were helping. Yes, you were cleaning. Unfortunately, uh, according to law. There is no such thing as 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 Ubuntu. We need to follow law accordingly. Mm, accordingly. Mm. So Mshololo today also asked about the photos. Um, these photos reflect the lounge area, and Musia said the scaffold was in the kitchen. Mshololo said, "So how come there is no blood in the kitchen where he was shot, mm. but it is in the lounge?" Musia said, it is surprising to me too. Now, you, you are basically, the, 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 they have, I think, other than whatever that is left of Musia, they have discredited Musia. I think we, we, we might be saying that we are waiting for, for, for NPA to come and restore Musia's dignity in a sense. It, it is going to be difficult to come back from that. <sighs> Mshololo asked, besides the blood stains on the wall in the kitchen, you are also surprised that there was no blood on the floor. Is it not because the scene was cleaned? Musia says, I can't answer that. Mshololo says, did you follow the blood stain trail from the house to the car? Mm. Musia said, no, there was no trail on the floor except in the area where I took pictures. There's also this question being brought up of if he was bleeding there should have been a trail from the house to the car yes even the car itself was guys clean. no dna was taken dna swaps were taken from that car and it is the car that was been spoken about a lot in the documentary that uh, the, he was bleeding even blood was coming through the mouth someone was saying that it's the car where even tumelo alleged that uh, that is where senzo took his last breath now the question is why was there no dna swabs taken from that bmw x6 it is disturbing that everyone who's got something to say about Senzo's last uh, hours or last minutes uh, is not taken into uh, this the witness. Co- to the witness list. Because look at what Tumi is saying. And I've, I've actually raised this in, mm. in, in the documentary. Look at what Tumi is saying. Tumi is saying Senzo might have taken the last breath on, on in the car. Mm. Uh, uh, obviously, Kelly Kuman is saying that it the was hospital. at the hospital, mm. and which is now being debunked mm. to say that it's it's it it, it could be lies. Mm. It could be lies. And then, what about the rest of people that were in the house? Where do they think that Senzo took the last breath? Now that would be an interesting story mm. to 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 combine. If you can get all these statements, and 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 have them. As well as the people that received the body in the hospital, if they received Senzo, Senzo alive or had he passed on when they, he was brought? This is where this is going. This is where, where this is going. And, and it's, it's a pity if you, you, you happen to be part of it and it was in a wrong way because eventually you might find yourself mm. in, deep, in deep hot waters. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so after reading out the witness statement alleging contamination, uh, asked Musia, the state's first witness, whether he found blood on the kitchen floor, which the state claims is where Meiwa was shot in a supposed, supposed botched robbery. Mm. Musia responding to Mshololo said he did not find blood stains on the kitchen floor, but there was splatter in the living room near the TV stand. Mm. It is also surprising to me, so I cannot answer, he said, adding that he was shocked to find no blood where Meiwa was allegedly shot and conceding to this possibility of contamination. Musia further admitted that there were no bloodstained trails from the living room to Meiwa's BMW X6 in which the footballer was transported by Kumalo to Butilong Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. 
other than being a forensic uh, person, then that we have since uh, established that he was not a forensic person, he's just a person who works under forensic criminal expert, criminalistic expert in forensic. Isn't it, wouldn't it be easier to say that the house has been mobbed or something like that? For you to actually now take all these pictures, this is where MCR is, is, is questionable. really questionable. Isn't it, you are supposed to see that, okay, this house has been mobbed. You saw water, you saw, that means it was not fully dry, right? Yes. So, even in your work as a police officer. Why don't you question that? Your experience since 2006, you should have been able to see that. This is where MCR, you feel sorry for him, but then when, when things like this are being questioned and you are not having answers for them, this is where you, you draw the line to say, but really now, I'm not, I'm not a policeman, mm -mm. but you bring me to a scene that has been cleaned. cleaned. I will tell you, this, is, this has been cleaned. And I know that in America, maybe I watch too much of these crime documentaries, there's that blue spray. You know, yeah, in yeah, the dark, yeah, the glow yeah, in the dark. Yeah. Why was that never used in this instance? Those are cleaning? things that are needed when you are a forensic person, right? Yes. You need to, when you say, I need my tools, part of those tools should be those things because some people decide to clean the scene. Yes. So why, why? I feel, I feel, I feel very scared. <laughs> I feel very scared of this type of incompetence you, it is scary in, in, in south africa it's 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 beyond me uh, when when you call these people and say uh, my house has been broken into all these things that you normally watch on television and and on crime channel i watch that channel a lot mm. uh, you don't see them in south africa they are no. there apparently they are there and there's that thing of we will take this and take it to it sort of takes away all the energy that is needed on, on the case. You look at how Americans have, 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 have really solved the cases which they Cold called. They call, they, call, they call those cases Jando cases mm. where there is no face, there is nothing. But, but because of, of, of whatever evidence that is normally collected on the scene, when that person decides to do something again, even if he's outside, they catch him. What is happening? In South Africa, it is rare. We get the case such as this, which is supposed to be now called the Jando case. Uh, and this also makes me scared. How many people are sitting in prison right now and because stuff like this? is happening. This is really scary, you guys. It is scary. It is scary. You, you know, there, there's an issue of let us find who did it and let us find the real person. There's an issue of let us just get someone Arrested. in and close the case. No enough investigation. And, and, and this now is, is, is pointing to that direction. This is why, uh, therefore, is not going to be a friend of, of, of our justice because mm. it's poking the holes on, this, on, on our justice. Not only for sales, it is just a general knowledge now that there are things that these people are supposed to have and the expertise that they're supposed to have, but they, they don't, don't have. have. They don't. Mm. Defense advocate Zandile Mshololo disputed the mysterious circumstances of a bullet found at the crime scene where Orlando Pirates and Bafana Bafana skipper Ms. Senzo Meyua was shot and killed. During Masia's cross-examination for the second day at Pretoria High Court on Tuesday, Mshololo grilled the police surgeon for his failure to identify the bullet when he first arrived at the crime scene. Now, Mshololo also dismantled Musia's qualifications, prompting him to admit that his highest qualification was obtained five years after the murder. So we could agree that you had not obtained a BTEC at the time when the incident happened and you wouldn't have known what you later learned about forensics. This is Mshollo. She questioned Musia's ability to secure and investigate the crime scene, citing that he failed to follow the blood trail which led to the car used to transport Mewa to the hospital. The soccer star was gunned down at the house of Kelly 
Kumalo's mother. However, Musia denied that he was not qualified to handle the crime scene, revealing to the court that he gathered his expertise through a five-year training program at the SA Police Service, which granted him a criminalistic criminalistic expert certificate in 2013. So this is like a year before even the incident happened. So by so, the time he arrived there, he had a couple of months experience. So whatever this certificate is, we have clearly seen that it needs to be rearranged so that people are taught properly. If you are going to use this certificate as, a, as, a, as your as your measure of education that you need to actually do forensic, then the, the, it has just become null and void because it shows that whatever that you taught um, Nusia is not actually what is needed for, from a forensic. Mm. So this, this, this again is poking to, 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 to police. It's poking holes. And, and that is what I think on, 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 on Advocate Defo is not going to be because Advocate Defoe did this thing, he laid this foundation, and I, and I will credit him in, on that because he knows the, the system from inside out. Mm. Uh, now, Mshololo's job is clear and straightforward. They are just going to a direction where they want to go. And I think on my side, well, we're yeah. still going to have to wait for, 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 for a prosecu prosecutor to actually try to restore, as I said, uh, the dignity of, 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 of Monsieur. But I don't see it happening uh, in, 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 in on its entirety. It's going to be one of those, let us admit this, let us leave that. But basically, they've just said that you are, you, you, you are not an expert. Mm. You are more like a, a normal citizen like me. Uh, was just sent to 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 a scene of crime as big as this one, and you are not an expert. You are not. You are not. So you look at them uh, asking questions. Where were you? Why didn't they tell you the direction of where you were supposed to go? It it sort of diverts straight to that area of the scene was rearranged. Yep. So the time you took, the time you took when they told you come to a scene and they didn't tell you the name and the direction basically I'm, I'm seeing them saying that they were busy rearranging the scene mm, mm, mm. this is looking bad this is looking bad i don't know if you can read any more comments yeah so you long. can take comments can't you see them there and read them on my behalf because mm, no Okay, let me. I, I on, stopped on the colleague. Note, on that note, can we please press that subscribe button for those who have not pressed it? Oh, and we have a hundred and thirty-seven people in the chat. Thank you so much for showing up. <laughs> please, guys, press that li that that like button and subscribe button. Mostly subscribe button and then go to like button so that you don't forget subscribe. Subscribe in this channel. This channel yes. is more uh, one of the few channels that are touching on this case on this case and we appreciate you so much for joining us brown no yeah it's gonna be you see if if you if if you was to admit at this point yeah it's it's game over for for the rest of the crew that's why it's important. One person breaks, then it's game over for the rest of the group. You, hey, hey, Musa Nkosi, Oscar Kumete, guys, do you think the five current accused will win this case based on the testimony from Sergeant Musia? It's too early to say that. It's too early to but tell. I think based on the, what we call is it circumstantial, circumstantial evidence. evidence. They, they they have few things that they depend on the NPA. It mm -hmm. depends on on few things. We can namely uh, say them. It's it's it's. I think they 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 could be that affidavit of the the people that saw them coming out allegedly, mm -hmm. and then they could be this um, admitting, which has already. Don't don't take uh, therefore lightly, guys. Okay. The casting that doubt on that <laughs> just bringing it even if it didn't win yeah. but he has brought it the that doubt 
this the, 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 the whatever evidence you have in your hand that you are still hiding it might be not admissible in a court of law in a sense that the, my client was harassed and he's been saying that and been nagging about that and at some point people will be angry uh, because he's been pushing towards that direction so that is another thing that they look at and a bullet and, and obviously bullet. there is that hanging question of why couldn't they have found out wh what happened to Senzo uh, through that gun when that guy was arrested? That, mm. that is a question that for me has not been answered. So to answer that question, you, you, you can take someone in and then later come back and say, yeah, this is the same gun that was used. It sort of defeats the purpose. And even you look at how the evidence was actually taken and stored, that is second part to say mm. that this evidence cannot be relied upon. Mm. Mm. This evidence cannot be relied upon. This evidence is not uh, credible. credible. Yes. So now Sunday Rakoto, at this point, Musia has lied so much. He's starting to believe his own lies. Did you see the confidence today? <laughs> you know, it's an age. I think he was, he was not, he was not sick today. He was, I mean, it's contradiction after contradiction. Yeah, today, Musia was quite different. Even for me, Jekwi, Jeki, it's painful. It's, it pains me deeply how Kelly is going on, saying they hated that it wasn't me who died that day. Did you hear that? Oh, guy? speaking of that, speaking that of that. trailer. Speaking of that. Uh, and, 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 and I'm going to say it because this is not part of, for me, and I, I've been, I've been, I've been checking Kelly all the time. All the time, Kelly uses Senzo to advertise whatever that he's doing. It's that weird. Is, for me, that's, that is what I'm seeing. He's using... It's like, oh, I'm like, trending again. Mm, Let me give them what mm, they want. Mm, mm, mm. And that is not someone really who's... like For me, that doesn't show that you are remorseful uh, about what happened in your house. It doesn't show that that thing, that sympathy that we need from someone who really. Uh, no, right was... now she's focusing on her show. The show needs to do numbers. Look, you need to focus on your show. I'm not. I'm not against that. But to use that as your trailer, it shows how confident you are and how self-centered you are. It's all about you. And maybe you might be tempted to even agree with people who are saying that it's all about you. Your, when point. your sister said that, it, it, it sort of made sense. Now it makes leg. sense. Back then, we're like, oh, sisters are fighting. But yes. now it makes sense. To say that you you would do anything that only only benefits you. It's showing that now. You are demonstrating that to us. And I don't think we needed to see that. The whole cloud chasing is not... Yeah, really the, nice for me it's cloud chasing kid it's not nice to watch i'm like uh, this is the father of your child and Girl. and we're not talking about someone who was who was beaten maybe but still alive we're talking about someone who passed away we're talking about something that you should actually respect and even not even go there I would go to, to a point of saying we don't need to talk about sins on my show, even if my directors are saying... That's what you're expecting, right? Yeah, but the icon, Kelly is willing to now and then use whatever spot that he gets into. Can we let the court decide? Yes. And, yes. and, 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 and it Stop these media runs. Ish. Even the walk and, and the bodyguards the body, and, stop and it. the colorful stop, thing stop it. shows that you you you, you just it's focusing on you. Mm -mm. I even I don't like it. And uh, Jackie also shares the same sentiments. But however, Jackie is going to say it like it is. Jackie says, uh, saying that they hated that it wasn't me who died that day. It makes me sick to my stomach. Heartbreaking emoji. Her time is near and she's going to pay big time. Hey, we don't know about that. Hey, we really don't know whether she was I actually. I think it depends on, on, on a lot of things and the way we have been treated to certain cases mm. uh, the way they've been done mm. we we are also not sure of 
whether we'll get into the end to the end of this thing. Yeah. We feel that it's 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 whatever, man. It's whatever. If we wake up in the morning today and they say, yeah, we've got the right person. Uh, remember, this is a, these are second people. There was mm. the first one who was arrested, mm. and and it was one person. And it was me. false. It was the guy who was who, washing Senzo's car. Yes, yes. So th- those are the things that we have to look at, and we we would take whatever that comes. But obviously, we'd be satisfied mm-hmm. if we get proper answers as to first why we understand. Well, you might have been creating that uh, part of saying uh, uh, Ubuntu. I couldn't let someone uh, uh, be, be, be bleed to death yeah and I took Senzo out we, we might understand that part yeah but the issue of you cleaning your house now having time to think and clean your house and, and do all those things and we've forgotten about the Sangoma the and then, then the Sangoma issue also the that, that I hope that would that I hope that, guys, I think hey, I'm, I'm allowed to change. Change how? I'm allowed to change. Mm-hmm. I think some of you were saying there might be an eyewitness. Yeah. But that is not an eyewitness. What is? Some what could it be? You feel like it's the... But they said that the, the witness was in the house. Yeah, that's a different story. Yeah, I think that is a no. different story based on that because it's, it's, Sangoma is not in the house. Mm-mm. But those are the things that we need to look at. The judge can take whatever Musia says in his judgment because he has lied so much. This is six, six 64th. Mm. Elis Mzizi, Ngikona Nami, Eish Ikolik, my daughter. Ikolik. Okay. <laughs> so he's a, he's a, he's a, he's working with this department. Oh, for the essay, <laughs> essay. <laughs> Tell us what you do. With them. <laughs> <laughs> for the SAPS, I give you a about SAPS. Levi Messiah says, hi, thanks for your analysis. Banje, you are beautiful, Siswa. I'm crushing on you from Nambi. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Levi. Thank you. I appreciate your compliments. Okay. Now, before we wrap this up, I wanted to also um, talk about why was there no tracking system of the car? Like exactly how long it took from the house to the hospital. That is a question that was also brought up in court today, that why isn't, wasn't there a tracking system to, to estimate how long and at what time did the car leave mm. from the house to the hospital? Where, where, where would you get that information? Isn't it a, track, a, tracker. a tracker system? Why, oh, why, yeah. why, why, then? why wasn't that information a, a sought? And, and why, then? There is a, the, I think there is a lot of things that uh, were, were disturbed on that scene. And I'm hoping that we, they were not really disturbed. They are still there. They are still coming. Like the issue of determining what time really, uh, according to, 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 to Senzo's board, what time did he succumb to death? Yes, the time of death is also mm. very important because now there's nothing literally. And also there's a time Zandile M. Shololo, advocate Zandile M. Shololo asked, did you check the state of sobriety of the person who moved the deceased? Sobriety. So, so, so that, 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 that's a new term. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know it. If it does exist, I don't know, man. Some of these terms are so bad. Because since how sober there were they? cans of beer and stuff, but mm. did you check check the alcohol levels, like of the person? Who so, was... in 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 that sense, then uh, that will sort of discredit the the witnesses themselves, right? Mm-hmm. Now. I'm, I'm 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 skeptical about that, and I know obviously any lawyer would do anything to win the case. I'm skeptical yeah. about discrediting the the evidence of of the eyewitness, because if you can do that, then the case could be done, because the everything they are saying, even if they implicate themselves, then it could be argued that they were not credible people because they were under 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 the uh, influence. influence of leak. Yes. No, but that is not strong enough. I remember someone talking about it. That is not strong enough. If your alcohol level were not tested, there's no estimation of saying that you were in your right state of mind or not. 
but uh, it depends on under, the alcohol under, level. under circumstances also you can also uh, try to 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 debunk all the, those 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 assumptions by saying that you were able to drive a car from the place and till the hospital and you were able to come back and clean or even remain behind and clean to see that there's something that has happened and you were able you were you were in your reasoning capacity mm. 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 Okay, and another point, one final point, is the challenge, this challenge that I'm seeing with the recorder, the, the fact that Umusia captured on the 24th all of his evidence, mm. and then he said he put it in a locker, mm. and then was only able to save it on the 28th. Manje, he jumped the day on the 27th because it was a working day. In yes. The day. Manje, the problem here is, where is that original... Uh, storing local and database like uh, i feel I, like that's what advocates zandile want I, and somehow it, it's just not showing msia said that he couldn't bring the the, the original papers uh, in the court because the, the the superiors refused they said there's procedure that needed to be followed and it could be true that there's a procedure you need to follow to apply for original uh evidence well that i uh, would be very interesting i would like to see you couldn't refuse with it i mean if if it was if it was gonna help then you couldn't refuse with it but what i'm looking at in 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 a way that i'm sure was asking i feel like they kind of have a feeling that obviously if that evidence come in they might be able to figure out certain things were actually edited uh, along the way uh, or maybe recently so he's pushing them to the corner so that they bring it and mm. when they bring it it will be scrutinized to that extent and if they were to find something that is really saying that at some point other than that day there has been editing then that will be part of proving that evidence really has been tempered with and and the question now would be why 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 Okay, guys, those were some of the points we had to unpack with you guys. And let us know what you think. I think it's time to open the lines. Should we open the lines? Uh, I think so. I think so. We can open the line. Guys, if you'd like to call us, there's a WhatsApp number. And on... uh, while you are calling us, please subscribe there, guys. I'm, I'm all on that. I'm all on that. Please. <laughs> that please subscribe. Please this subscribe. 142, actually. Please subscribe there. There's actually 142 of you guys. So like the video, you guys like the video. We we are going to read the people um, comments. Okay, let's read. Uh, we've got three now. A uh, new comments. No lo azim konta san bonani. Caller already. Okay, take the caller. Express yourself, caller. Hello. 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 Hello, how are, how are you? you? Oh, I can't hear. Eh? Can you hear? Hello? Hello, how are you? Yes, I can hear I can hear you. Okay. I'm good. It's Cindy. Yes, Cindy. <laughs> Hi Cindy. Oh, hearing your voice is so nice. <laughs> how are Hi, you, Cindy? I'm good. How are you guys? Hi, we are very good. And you've got a radio voice, a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you what? guys. I, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I want to. Okay, first of all, I know you guys are talking about the whole case. To be honest, I yeah. stopped following it because it's just too much for me, mm. and also I had a lot going on. But I'm just waiting for this verdict. Mm. Yeah. Only. Yeah. So I really hope they arrest the right people. Mm -hmm. That is. That and. Is my hope. <clears throat> Yeah, but I do watch the reviews because I love you guys and it's more entertaining, honestly. Thank you. And <laughs> I do want to send a huge shout out yeah. to Mr. Anonymous. I gag. I was on the floor this evening when I was um, re watching um, yeah. Notando, the, that review. About yes. e, in their My mom always told me that. 
It is so true. It's so true. It's true, ne? It's true. Yeah. So I want to tell all the ladies, you must stop listening to Mr. Anonymous. He throws some jabs in there. He's not hating. He's it's not. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. Yeah. Some people are not used to that kind of honesty. Yeah. So they take yeah, it like, no. oh, he's hating, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you need that type of honesty. Rather We take do. it from We Mr. Do. Anonymous or take it from mm-hmm. the experience of life. Yep. And you know what's nice? <laughs> Mr. Anonymous is not on screen. So, you know, it is. You know, but I appreciate you exactly. guys. Exactly. I really, really love you guys. <laughs> I really, and I'm so grateful I found you guys. Because I think the day I found your channel is when you guys were reviewing the Ranak, the Ranakas or something. Oh. Um, yeah. I was like, oh, I know. I like them. I don't know who they are, but I need to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. And you've been there since you subscribed, girl. We uh, see you. We see your comments. You know, on those days when we're really, like, not feeling like even doing this, it's comments of, I like, know. your comments that just yes. keep us pushing that, you know what, I, let's go record No, I, keep, keep going, guys. You're doing something. And I love, I love those business talk, those personal talk. I like that. I like that. And also, I just wish you guys... I love that call out. Oh, are we going to oh. cut Cindy off? We have to. Because I'm it's sorry, Cindy. Hello, Cindy, hello, I'm hello, sorry. hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, Kai. How are you? Yeah, we are fine. We are fine. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I'm more connected. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, guys, uh, for the topic that you've touched today. So, however, I want to ask, guys, the, the way you analyze uh, some of the things so, like today, since the uh, advocate Michelle Oda was questioning Mr. Mosia in terms of the status, so we think it was a shame to everybody the way they handle things. So mm-hmm. Now, because it looks like now, I don't know why Mr. Mosia is maybe he's scared to just accept that everything that he you are telling that they mm-hmm. is like, who, who, when exactly is the judge? Going to rule, who is going to rule that the testimony that is coming from Mosia is valid or not? So, what is the process of uh, ruling in, in terms of Mosia? Or, or maybe they will wait for other witnesses to come in, or they will, they, they will have to rule before they call other witnesses? That was such a question. From what we've gathered, uh, is they will still wait for other witnesses because mm-hmm. look, the reason why they they didn't take um, this guy uh, Defoe's appeal trial within a trial, a trial within a trial was was to say that let us allow the cross examination of the others who are still coming. Basically, it seems as if they are willing to to go as far as they can, but. If you do the right thing, because I think we tried to explain the issue that might have happened with uh, DEFO. Seemingly, the procedures, the right procedures of applying for trial within trial mm-hmm. were not fully fulfilled. Okay. Or if they were fully f- fulfilled, still they were not deemed uh, urgently. So that, oh, is, okay. that, is, that, is, that, is, that is what I've gathered based on, on, on this trial within trial. So based on your, 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 your question... It, it, it is that the judge will need to wait. Seemingly, the judge is big on waiting or getting full information. That's what we've been getting. Even with Netflix, I need to get the full information. Mm. And, and, and I need to... So okay, the, judge is still gonna, yeah, the judge is still going to wait and, and, and go further. And, and I think they do consult if they feel that they are limited. Because you can be, you can be a judge. You cannot know all the things they would consult, but the judge that is presiding right now would say that's the judge that would give the verdict. Okay, okay, I got your point. And another, another thing, when is the, the defense going to be allowed to call the witnesses, or maybe they have to wait for the state to finish their witnesses? What is the kind of thing? Because I've never, I'm not, I'm not familiar with this court process. They, Our, they are hiding yeah. some of their of their cards. This is going to be difficult because I mean I think they, they are protecting witnesses. At some point, they are not telling the line. What what even therefore failed to say? Is it the line or 
towing the line <laughs> the line of of people that still are still to come yeah. so some of them they are not actually uh, made public uh, like they for said uh, with one of the eyewitnesses but oh, okay. there, there's still that process that needs to take place and uh, well i think this case is still going a long way based on the disturbances that we see happening yes. it's it's a long way Okay. No, thank you so much, guys. It was just a question that I asked you. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for and, calling. Uh, I appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Cool. Yeah, and also you remind me of the of the phone call situation that Advocate Mushara was talking about regarding the journalists. Okay. She yeah. She was yeah. uneasy, and it seemed like they have their phones every time you, she tries maybe to speak. To, to the people that she's defending. Here they are with their phones. So she was uh, pleading with the judge to have some form of... Protection. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it, it, this case is very sensitive. Mm. I think that, that's why many people are even afraid to talk about it. But mm. we are talking about it based on general knowledge. That um, we get public so it's not, knowledge. It's not that we are part of the case. No. So there is that feeling of not trusting anyone who's there. It might be that you are coming as a news uh, person uh, only to find that you are spying for certain people. Mm. You see, mm. the, the, there's that uneasiness. If you are going to record me, even if we are off uh, court, we are we are at the break, then I'm not going to be friendly with you because I don't know why you need to record me even when we are uh, outside the camera. You know, you, you need to, your area. You need to have boundaries. So if you start doing that, then I'm start gonna looking at you uh, with that eye. Mm. Why? Why? What do you need to get from me mm. as, as a lawyer? Mm. What do you need to get from me? It's so a quite I think a tricky situation. It's that, it's that situation, and and we, we we must also say by allowing um, allowing Netflix in, it has sort of for me a kind of open and and compromise the people inside because netflix is someone new from 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 south africa i would say mm. in a sense of of covering certain things in south africa so how they do things they might not have limits as south african media yeah so that is why it was important for the judge to actually uh, give a verdict on on this netflix and and i would say unfortunately they allowed netflix according to me i don't think netflix was supposed to be allowed in the house me too i remember we spoke about it on the very first uh, live call and show that I, I don't agree with netflix being in there but hey it is what it is Okay, now we have a colleague saying Brigadier and Lovuruma to be dead. That statement, guys, make me eat my teeth. Lindy Iwe says, and Musia was not even sure if Ndlovu died when asked by Advocate Yeah, Mushalon. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was not, uh, he, yeah. <laughs> This is a circus. Gugu says, I was waiting for you, Emily and Mr. Anonymous. Love you guys. Love you too, Gugu. Thank you so much for watching. And Azania Mkosa, Musia is an envelope cop. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> allegedly. Yes, when allegedly. allegedly We're Azania. going to put it for yes. you, Azania. <laughs> Azania says, lol, niti u bragadia lo u pi. Alleged heaven. <laughs> allegedly. Passed away. So Vega says, for me, it's the clearing of the scene before the forensic team arrives. Kolega says, Ed Azania, okay, they are having a conversation in the chat. I love it. I love it. Because I is ya kala gule case is kala. Now gungizwe waze wa kala. Lies, lies, lies. Everywhere lies. Already it's a meme, guys. Lies, lies. Oh, lies. Everywhere lies. <laughs> yeah, let us keep it coming. I see 50 cent there. Okay, 50 cent. Oh, it was shot nine times. Yeah. Okay, that is like way, way below. 50 cent was shot nine times and still he's alive. Oh, that Since he was NC. shot once, N -N but he's dead. That sounds uh, like a rhyming of a hip-hop NS. Yeah, it, it does. That sounds it like does, It does happen. I think it depends on where you are. You are short and how quick people are on the scene to help you. And uh, I think an issue and of Senzo. And also Senzo, it seems like it was a close range. Yeah. 
Yeah. It seemed like yeah. it was a close range. You can be shot eight times and survive like like this man uh, who's strong. Uh, 50. 50. Uh, it's very strong. I think God didn't want to. No, like, God, God didn't. God had a plan. <laughs> Kill and we are seeing Kill the death plan death. even now. I mean, the guy is doing quite well. Yeah, but he's no longer afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Nine times and he lived. <laughs> that is God's, that's God's will. And then Elias Litwala, I think the judge said if and only if the state plans to bring the confession, then the trial within the trial will take place. Okay, thank you for clearing it up. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. Mm. But you see what Mshololo has actually, I mean, therefore has done. He has created that space for himself so that now when it's time for the for that, when 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 the states, and, and, and my feeling is that they are going to go there. Because honestly, their evidence for me is narrowed. Mm. There is nothing much. They There's need. Much. They need that confession. They need that confession. So they are going to bring it up. Yeah, Bume says that the problem again. Where did he exactly uh, pass on? I feel very much pain for Senzo's mother. Shame. As painful as it is, we want justice for Senzo. Yeah. And another comment. Sorry, guys, I can't go through all of them. But Siabongam uh, Gutu says, I'm waiting for the task team, Mina. Are you going to have a I'm waiting for that. It's been, it's been too long, man. <laughs> Can okay. we summarize them? See? As because as I think we have established what we don't want to establish. Yeah, ne, yeah. Can we summarize Can, it? Can we get that task team? <laughs> Next on the task stand? team so on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so that we know exactly what what is what, or, or but seemingly, there is one thing that I would like to 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 alert you yeah, on. Yeah. You on is that you see how from from the beginning, Msia was willing to give evidence freely and mm. even give advice as a point. Mm. But after these breaks and all these breaks, it seems like Msia is moving away from. I to Bragadian Luf. Mm. And uh, that, that forensic team, when it comes, expect nothing less from them other than Bragadian Luf. That's the card that for me they are going to play a lot. Bragadian Luf. <laughs> Guys, okay. I saw Azania here saying, true, Advocate Tifor is representing us. The unknowns, the underdogs, the poor masses who normally get state lawyers that don't care. Mm. Hence, the mm. mass hate even some media blogs calling him a mambara. Wow. Uh, guys, uh, if you are still dealing with media, uh, we only deal with media with the fact uh, of this case. It's a fact. It's factual. So mm. that's where we go to media for, for some for information. For the fact. Because it's a fact <laughs> this one. They cannot... But look, according to me, uh, I think if you rely more on media, uh, you'll be misled a lot. Yeah. And I think, I think one day, once we are ready as a country to speak freely mm. and have this what we call freedom of speech, we can then try to scrutinize those directions. But as for now, we cannot say anything. All I can say is that whatever you get, no, like I've said this before, what I get from media, I take it. With a pinch of salt. No, no, as a hint. As I a take hint. it as a hint <laughs> and then I go research. Then you research. Yes. Okay. And, and it, it is for everyone to do that. Mm. It is for everyone. To do. Let's make an example. Mm-hmm. Right now, in the news, yeah. we are being told that the Guptas have been captured. Yes. That side of, of, of uh, Dubai. UAE, Dubai. We know what Dubai is capable of. But there is no physical evidence given other than the word of the media that we rely on. And that's it. And if really there is a, what we call 
this media of ours was really that big and was really deep and was really about facts. Shouldn't we have someone who's there by Dubai reporting and saying, guys, uh, I'm standing uh, just uh, closer to the prison, uh, pri to the prison the, the, where they've been taken, uh, the Gupta brothers and all that. It, it's not happening. We what are about told, the it's a media word of, mouth. It's of a word Dubai? Of mouth. And, 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 and I know that Maleme just said it. And now I can say it because he said it. Oh, because but I was, Malema I was also it. thinking in that <laughs> way. Malema said the it. The timing of how they've been kept caught, these people. The timing. Yes. It's, it's so amazing. If you look <laughs> if you look at the timing of when they were caught, I you will you if you if you still don't see where where, where this is going. It's okay. Your story will leave it like that. But the timing of the Guptas and and and, and the clouding the media and, and 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 we we no longer cannot talk any anything else other than the Guptas, guys. I that's, that's the it. timing that's, is that, too that's perfect. It. That's it. It's too perfect. <laughs> Sergeant Musia can't even tell the difference between the weekend and midweek. This is Tiamo, uh, and. Cindy is laughing. Maria Smalisela, Kelly Kumalo wants her day in court. I can't wait to hear her okay, testimony. Okay, 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 okay. Can you go to the last comment? There's a person who's saying that he has never been called on this channel. Please go to the last comment and call that person's name and read the comment. Guys, next time you live, please give me a call, a please call. My name and details are listed. Why is Jimmy Mani panicking? Okay, so just 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 WhatsApp us or something so that we can call you. Please, no, guys. also put the notifications on all so that every time we go live, you get a notification, okay? Put it on all so that you get a notification when we set a live stream. You won't miss it if you do that. Guys, we are not far from 700, guys. Please press that subscribe button. Um, we are 141 here, uh, 53 likes. I don't know if I'm behind, but but please press that like and press that subscribe. That red subscribe button, you need to press it until it's gray. Mm. And that uh, alert thing, that bell, Click all. press it all, mm. not not this video. So all, so all, that you, you, so you, that you, even you, when you go live, you get the notification that they are going live in 30 minutes, or they are going live in in. Two hours, you know, and you're not like, yeah. what is happening? <laughs> you don't just get us by luck. Mm -hmm. um, you are part of this uh, family. Guys. Yeah. So uh, I see that. I mean, there are other people still coming here. We still have about four minutes. Please go read those. those. Okay. The Gupta story is a distraction from the 60. <laughs> Stop it there. <laughs> Stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Uh, the next, next comment. <laughs> next comment. Mara, okay. There's a comment that I saw that's very interesting. Elias mm. Litsualo says, by the way, there was a clinic near where Senzo was shot other than the hospital he was taken to. That is very interesting. Interesting. But I'm the, from the clinics, the clinics, the, don't they close? Oh, on Sunday. Uh, no, it was it Sunday? It was Sunday? Yeah, yeah it was Sunday. And when, and don't they close happened. early, like for the time? The, the they thing. close around five. Yeah, yeah. I think that midweek. That's the okay. problem we have. That is where I, I support when they say we should have clinics that are open twenty four hours. I mean, that's at least we can do. Why are you laughing? Cindy is telling me to read the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> I can't, Cindy. Oh, I can't. Yeah, not yet. No, no, A okay. time is coming when we will bother. Now, eh, it's very fragile and sensitive. No, we cannot. <laughs> if, if, if our mainstream media is not doing it, no, we, we cannot can't. Doing, do it mm -mm. because yeah, it's going to be... <laughs> Chaos. Ooh, ah. So it's better we read the, the we see we see you <laughs> but it's better we read the <laughs> Okay Mlungi says surely this case will end up um no one arrested hence it's reminded me of the one of Tupac and Biggie Yeah but you see of Tupac according to me mm -hmm. indirectly so mm -hmm. I would say justice was served 
Okay, why? Because indirectly, so I'm not going to expand on it, but I feel like indirectly, so justice was served. The karma know the direction of where it, it was it was supposed to go and it went there. Pa, that's it. So I would say justice was served. Okay. Well, Tuli Tool says, always learn to question everything you see, read, and hear on the media. Don't just agree to everything. Be a critical thinker. And I think, Mr. Anonymous, this is where I put in my two cents that, yes, guys, part of the motivation behind what we do is to have people to do that critically. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of, of mentioning channels, mm. ne? but I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, it's it's not because it's some guy who's, but there is a, a channel that right. is called Odes. I oh. think that channel, that channel is always on point. Politics wise. Yeah. But if you want to 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 know more and deeper, uh, go there. Odes is on point. I I also I also for I'm I'm, I'm a part of of that. Uh, 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 membership, yes, um, 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 yes, uh, that that channel is really good. It's really good. Yeah, because Chile. it says exactly that that guy is not afraid. He's not. He afraid. says exactly <laughs> what you want to know. Yeah, you wanna know about who is in charge of what? Go there. You would find that guy. He, he was live today, mm -hmm. and and I, I don't normally give shoutouts like that, but yeah, go there and go there with an open mind. Because that guy would challenge you. Okay, guys, for those political conversations. Yeah, they, they are sweet. <laughs> they are sweet and they are spot on there. That guy is not looking for people who who are coming here to test things. <laughs> he tells you exactly what needs to happen. Yeah, so that's that's a channel for you guys. But before you go, how to that, I like this one, Tiamo. Are you from Botswana? Bring that case to Botswana. All those who were there would tell the whole world nothing but the truth. Capital punishment is hang. <laughs> yeah. That's what uh, you know. My dad used to say before he passed on, guys. He used to say, you know, in my retirement, I want to live in Botswana. Kira Papa, why? And you know, Botswana, you can open a a you know a vendor uh, outside your yard. Mm -hmm. You can leave it and go inside your house, and no one will. Steal. And no one will take money. They will take if they are buying. They will take whatever they are buying and put their money. And mm. if they take the change, they take the change. Okay, they don't take extra. You know, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I also love Botswana. Um, I think the only reason why I would not uh, visit Botswana is, is I fear. You know, what do you fear? When you don't know the country, you can just go wrong with one thing and then all of a sudden you are not coming back to South Africa. <laughs> No, as it's long like, as you behave, it's like, as long as you follow the rules, it's like, you'll be it's, fine. It's like Dubai. I, I, I heard this other guy who's got a girlfriend that said, they say if you cross the road anyhow, you get arrested. I know in South Africa it's supposed to happen, but uh, we are chilled in South Africa. You cross anywhere you want to cross. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that side of Dubai, yeah, yeah. but you cross somewhere you're not Good supposed one. to cross. Hey, that's what I'm trying to say. I might be jumping the road. You know, thinking, <laughs> no, wow. it means you must learn the rules and follow the rules and but follow the rules. How long could I take for me to, to learn all those rules? Look at, <laughs> <laughs> look at the issue of Zodra there. He can make run. <laughs> so, so I don't think, I don't, I will go there. But if someone is going to first going to drive me because I don't want to drive next thing. I'm hating someone. Next thing I'm part of. You see, I need someone from the side drive a car. I but Botswana guys, it's peaceful. It's yeah, peaceful. it's it's. Let us le, ne go So it's it's a very it's a very nice country. I I would say it's a very nice country and and it's peaceful in a sense that everyone understands what needs to happen. And everyone understands protocol of And it is obvious to manage countries that are not big. This is mm. South Africa. I. Hey. <laughs> South Africa is, is, is a mini 
mini America. I'm not I'm not lying, guys. You look at South Africa, you look at America, it's just Yeah, it's like yes, a mini America exactly. Not only you get diversity here. About li- how many nine official languages? Yes. Yes. Yes, that that nine. is a problem, and there is a freedom this side that is allowing certain things that you understand. Mm. In South Africa, someone can make noise in, 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 and say it's my right. Yes, <laughs> and argue it's my right, but yeah. you're disturbing me. With my <laughs> right. <laughs> There's too many rights there. Yeah, everyone is. So right. Like everything, they put rights. <laughs> Just rice. Yeah, you can yeah. argue. Actually, I can slap someone and argue that it's my right mm-hmm. to do so. Mm-hmm. So no, it's it's, it's difficult to, to 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 control. I think the diversity of tribes also is coming in. Like you see that when it's time to vote for a president, yeah. or oh, we don't vote for a president, by the way. We vote for the party. I we feel we vote for the party, and then the party chooses the right candidate. Yeah, but we are being robbed there. But I don't I, know who came up with that. I, I, I've said that uh, we are being robbed there. <laughs> because we end up voting. You know, you vote for the party because you love the party and then you go there vote for someone you don't like. Okay. Because they, they chose that person. Then because not, you like the party, you yeah, now it's are not forced. Like, it's not like they give you 10 people to choose from. No. You see this head of this person, you know what is going to happen. <laughs> You know, that's a painful thing in South Africa when we're going to to that ballot paper. You you like, I know what's going to happen. I, I, I put a cross on that. You still put a cross on that, Papa. But you know, oh God, here we go. Unfortunately. You'll you, 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 you you'll be holding a, a seat next thing. Bambelela said to you. Yeah, it's... It's... it's, 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 it's but... Uh, I, I think this issue of one president yeah. for Africa. Mm-hmm. I like the idea. Eh, but who's gonna But agree? That, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Who's I understand I, I like the idea of, of one president for Africa, but look look at it this way. Uh I think and I'm gonna say it, what's the highest population in South Africa? It's Nigeria, right? In, in Africa, Africa. Yeah, it's I Nigeria. feel like it's Nigeria. I'm not sure. So Nigeria will always win. Yes. We we'll get the president from Nigeria. Yes, of Africa will come yeah, from there from because Nigeria. they are many. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, because for they you are to, going to for you to go and caucus the rest of the countries, how many countries do we have in Africa? Over you fifty. Need, is it fifty two? You need to go all these countries. You need real money there. You need to to. You need the pamper. You need the pamper to canvas all these countries and say, "I'm the right person." So the likely candidates to win will be the ones that speak the languages that are mostly spoken, and I feel mm. like it's French. Yeah, it's French. I'm not I know it's gonna be tricky. <laughs> it's French. Hey, if you put it like that, obviously it's it's it's. Yeah, it's French. And it, so French and Spanish and all, they understand each other, those ones. It's going to be tricky. <laughs> or even Portuguese. They understand, yes, still Portuguese. understand. So those three languages, is like Zulu and Kos. It's going to be tricky. That's all I'm going to say. And no. <laughs> and no. <laughs> I feel like we can, yes, maybe control, have a certain, I don't know, but... An African one, and now eh, it's gonna be difficult. How how about just before we go? How about we just do away with this system of presidents, and then have what in place of whatever it? that was governing us previously? Kings. They were better. Were they? W- they were better. I didn't have all of this wealth because Maji, there's money involved. You understand what I'm saying? This this this. There's money, okay. And I don't think that the kings of then had to deal with what is happening there now. There was cows. There was cows. There was wealthy in cows and other things. But there now there's, 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 there's like land and there's like money. Everything is money orientated. So I, No, I, no. You know who's confusing us? Who? It's those people that are confusing us. I mean, those I ones who kings, came. Those I ones know, who. I'm not sure about those it ones who either. Came, no, I'm. I'm fine with that. I'm really fine with that because at least we have different people taking decisions. Let's have maybe something like that 
and then make them have a parliament for if we have to take a decision for the whole country, for example. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then, but some of the decisions should be taken in isolation of, of the rest because I think that was better. There were rules that were governing us before this whole thing. Yeah. We know that uh, the Ndebeles were based in certain, in certain areas. We knew that uh, the, the Sutus were based in certain areas. It was better though. And I feel like every part has to be developed. And maybe Don't just if, focus on how they mm. like develop KZN, and develop Mpumalanga. No, that's develop. A, you see the problem is, is the problem is one. People will tell you developing that area they need foreign investment. And once they say that uh, you thing. must know that you are <clears throat> you are done. You allow that to But can't you develop without any of the foreign invest can't you just develop? For a person who did economics, you would, uh, you wouldn't ask me that question. Develop. How how, how do you develop? Like you develop the what do you call it? The how, Egypt, how the did Egypt, the Egypt become how day? Who was putting money? Foreign investors. But did they put money in jail or they were actually benefiting by putting the money in? That's the in? thing. You cannot put money without benefiting. That's a, capital, that's a capital way of doing things. Capitalist way. You always look for yourself first and then the rest. So when they come to you, they will tell you, ah, oh, you get jobs, uh, you'll get what, what. Next thing you realize, uh, that area of... of uh, I'm a course in that side in case it is, is, is under certain people. Mm. So I guess that will not be happening anytime soon. If you soon. want development, <clears throat> if you want development the way you know it, mm-hmm. unless if you can have a way of finding out the, oh, the, the Egyptians, mm-hmm. those Egyptians, those Egyptians, those mm. ones mm. that created that whole thing, then... You, because apparently there's that argument that uh, development started in Africa. Mm-hmm. And the there pyramids. are videos, yes. No, not even that, mathematics and everything started mm. in Africa. But gay, it's not something that we can talk about here. No, uh, maybe we need to open that membership for these type of conversations. They can't be for everybody. <laughs> 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 yeah, we need to have membership and yeah. to, to discuss that because in closed doors, not yeah. here. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's very strict. Yeah, yeah it's very strict, <laughs> guys. Please press that uh, subscribe button as we go out. I love you on my side and uh, thank you very much. Uh, Azania, we see you and uh, MST, I couldn't read that. And uh, there is Cindy Langamanda. I wish for a country that women are free to walk anywhere and feel free. safe. safe. Okay, they, they will feel safe. They are feeling safe, isn't it? They say that? Not necessarily. Yo, I can't walk at night and feel safe. That's Whoa. impossible. I can, I can also not walk at night and Mm-mm. feel safe. It, it's, <sighs> that's what development comes with. High crime. Mm. high crime but it's different with us because the unemployment is yeah look with 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 the with the uh, now we are bringing politics with the capitalism it's eat or be eating that's Oof. a simple way of explaining it yeah it's true it is that is why we we say there must be a rearrangement of whatever that certain people acquired mm. and 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 that is only if we start from the plain slate no one is gonna be rich that's not a fresh don't see that happening though so well <laughs> guys we love you thank love you, you so much, much. thank Press you for that joining like button us. and subscribe on your subscribe on your way out. bye